Hey there, welcome into Lemons to Lemonade. My name is Kara and we're a furniture flipping family located deep in the heart of Texas. We started flipping furniture last year when my husband lost his job due to COVID and we've been flipping furniture ever since. We sell most of our flips on our Facebook business page and through Facebook Marketplace. For today's furniture how to flip, we're gonna be showing you how we took a dated 1980s dresser and turned it into a real show-stopping piece. But be sure to stay tuned to the end so this one took a really fun and unexpected turn that we've never had happen before. So let's go out to the garage and I'll show you what we did. Come on along. Here's the start of our dresser. I picked this guy up from an auction for $80. Um, I'm guessing it's 1980s, something like that, because of all the flowery curves and things. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take off the hardware. Originally, I was going to replace the hardware, but they're so particular to these curvy drawers that I don't know if I'm gonna find anything that's really gonna fit this vibe. So I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off and put everything in this little pail here so that I could save it for later when I go to put it back on. Next, I need to clean the piece. I've mixed up some crud cutter in my spray bottle here and some warm water according to the package directions and give everything a good scrub. I like to get my vacuum out and vacuum out the insides of my project. You never know what's lurking behind all these drawers. Next, I'm going to go ahead and strip the top with some citrus strip. It has a very, very thick coat of protectant on the top of this, so to save myself some sanding time, I'm going to go ahead and strip it. After I'm done applying the citrus strip, I make sure I put a good coat of saran wrap on the top. When you see these little crackling things underneath with the citrus strip and the saran wrap, you know you're off to a good start and it's working. I leave it on for about two hours and then I peel everything back and then I'm ready to start scraping it off. I prefer to use a plastic scraper. Mine has a bit of a shovel on it, which you're going to see in a little bit. So it just catches everything as I go along and scrape. Once you're done stripping everything off, you're going to go over it with some mineral spirits, which I'm applying here. You're going to take your mineral spirits and some very fine grit steel wool and just make sure that you've deactivated the citrus strip all the way through. And the steel wool will help take off any extra citrus strip that's left on the top. Now we're going to stand the top. Once the top is completely dry from the mineral spirits, it takes about 24 hours to dry all the way through at least. At least that's how it is in Texas. And we're going to start sanding with a 120 grit sanding pad. 
once I strip with a citrus strip, I don't need to start at an 80 usually. I can go ahead and start with a 120 and then work up to a 220 to give it a nice smooth finish at the end. Thanks to the squishy foam pad that's on our surf prep sander, we're able to make a really quick job of these edges and corners and not take off any of the edges themselves. Next, we're gonna scuff sand the entire piece. And when we're done scuff sanding, we're gonna go through with just some warm water and clean all of the dust and dirt that we've made from sanding off this piece again. Ugh, this project had a lot of drawers. So we need to go ahead and wrap all these drawers so that we don't get any overspray on them when we start using our spray gun. We've mixed up our paint into our Gravity Fed HVLP sprayer. We're going with the color Bonafide Beige by Sherwin-Williams in their Krylon chalk paint. I just love their chalk paint. It's so awesome through a spray gun. So the Bonafide Beige is like a light champagne color, which I thought would be great for this dresser. I'm so tired of painting white. I wanted something just a little better and still something that was going to sell. So we went ahead with the Bonafide Beige. While you guys are watching us paint these drawers here, do you mind going over and hitting that subscribe button for me? We are so close to hitting our goal of a thousand subscribers and we would love for you to be one of them. Thanks! Okay Chris, keep painting. The wood top of this turned out absolutely beautiful so I'm going to go ahead and stain it. But first I like to go over anything that I'm going to stain with a tack cloth because you get so much dirt that's still on the surface. Yeah, yuck. I've gone over this before with a rag and it's still getting that much off. Next I'm going to do a pre-stain by Minwax. I don't know, you don't always have to pre-stain but sometimes these pieces just look sort of extra thirsty to me. I don't even know how to describe it. That's the only way I can think. So when they look that way, I like to go ahead in with a pre-stain first so that way my stain will penetrate evenly when I get ready to put that on. And full disclosure, I don't know what happened. I set up my shot when I put on the stain and I guess I didn't hit record because I don't have any video of it. So after I did my pre-stain, I let it dry according to the can directions and then I went back through with Minwax Special Walnut and did the exact same prep that you're seeing me do here. Next we're going to go ahead and put our clear coat poly on. I've let my stain on the top dry for about two days before I go through. We're going to try this Helmsman polyurethane for the first time. It's in a satin finish. I've been promised by Sherwin-Williams that this does not yellow, so I'm kind of excited to try it. I've had some problems finding my Verathane that I like uh, the most in my other videos that I've released. I usually just use the Verathane. So this is going to be a new one, and I'm totally trusting that it's not going to yellow, because here we go. Now that we've got three coats of polyurethane on our project, it's time to put it all back together.
I'll scrub my hardware really well and I'm going to go ahead and use Rust-Oleum Champagne Mist. I'm sticking with a champagne theme on this dresser here. And now that my hardware is dry from cleaning, I'm going to go ahead and give it a once over with my spray paint. Our rust -oleum has a poly coat in it, so I'm not going to do the extra step and poly coat these. They're already really thick to the touch, which is great, so they're going to last for a long time without scratching or coming off or anything like that. So it's time to start putting the dresser all together. So now it's time to stage. Here's my staging basket that I use to get everything ready to list on Facebook Marketplace. Staging is just putting what you have around the house up there, seeing what you like, stepping back, taking a look, reorganizing, uh, just keep going back and forth until you find a theme that you really like. Before I show you the staged piece, let's talk numbers. So I pick up most of our pieces from an auction site. Same with this one. I paid $80, which is a really fair price for this type of quality furniture. And it's usually what I pay for dressers overall. I listed this piece on Facebook Marketplace for $420. It took a few days to get some serious inquiries, which usually means I've set my prices about right for my area. If it sells too quickly and I have a lot of requests for it, it usually means that I started off too low. I got a sweet couple that liked the dresser and offered me full price, but they wanted to use it as a nursery furniture for their upcoming family edition. So we picked out a whole new color and started painting it all over again. That was a first for me. Usually someone will bring me a custom order and we start from square one. But it was fun to have someone really love the piece when it was finished and they loved it so much that they could see it in the room that they wanted it in, but they just needed it in a different color scheme. So off we went to making it a whole new color for them. In the end, I was really happy with the profit that we made. And not only did they purchase the dresser from us, but they brought us over some of their other furniture for their nursery so we could match all the pieces together. I'm hoping that we've made a lifelong customer out of these two. That's the other fun and unexpected part of this business. Some of the people that you meet are just absolutely amazing and I'm so glad that I got to cross paths with them and they keep bringing me over pieces of furniture to redo for their house. So not only is that a huge honor, it's also a big win-win. Hope you guys enjoyed today's flip. Please like and subscribe and comment on this channel. It goes a long way in helping promote these videos as far as YouTube is concerned. I love to keep, keep bringing you fresh new flips every week and I will see you next time on Lemons to Lemonade. Bye.